The alternative to net pen salmon feedlots is closed containment, growing the fish not in cages made of netting, but in solid closed tanks, totally separated from the open sea. The salmon feedlot industry and its enablers in government say that closed containment can't be done profitably. Is that true? This is Agri-Marine in Campbell River, BC, which has just been bought by a major Norwegian aquaculture company. Agri-Marine produces salmon in closed fiberglass tanks that float in the sea, or in lakes, or even in reservoirs, which eliminates many of the problems of raising salmon in open water net pens. This is Sweet Spring Salmon in Washington State near Seattle, which raises coho salmon in freshwater tanks miles and miles from the sea. It produces about a thousand tons a year of premium fish, which are approved by the Monterey Bay Aquarium and fetch a premium price. It recently expanded by partnering with a Hutterite community in Montana to produce salmon within sight of the Rocky Mountains. This facility in the hills of West Virginia belongs to the Conservation Fund Freshwater Institute. In partnership with the Atlantic Salmon Federation, the Institute has been successfully producing Atlantic salmon in tanks hundreds of miles from the sea. This is the Millbrook First Nation near Truro, Nova Scotia, which is raising Arctic char in tanks inside that building. Arctic char is comparable to salmon. In fact, many fish lovers prefer it. This is Sustainable Blue in Centre Burlington, Nova Scotia, which has been raising European sea bass and gilthead sea bream inside this building near the Bay of Fundy, and now is raising salmon. The closed containment facilities in Centre Burlington and Truro are operating now, within an hour's drive of the provincial legislature where officials say it can't be done. And much bigger things are in the works. On Vancouver Island, the Namgis First Nation is building a closed containment facility that will raise more than 1,400 tons of Atlantic salmon annually. And a Scottish company is building what it says will be the biggest on-land Atlantic salmon farm in the world. Meanwhile, major food chains in Western Canada and the United States have eliminated net pan salmon from their shelves in favor of sustainably raised products. The Nova Scotia government could be investing in research and development on closed containment, enhancing Nova Scotia's clean, crisp, unspoiled brand. Instead, the government is pouring millions into an industry that's a constant source of stories about diseases, pollution, poisons and dyes, problems which are the inevitable result of farming salmon in net pen cages in the sea. Closed containment is a huge opportunity for Nova Scotia, a perfect fit with our pristine seafood image. We could lead the world in sustainable salmon farming, and we should. Don't buy the net pen nonsense, and don't buy the net pen fish. There's a better way. See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.